Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so this week I want to talk about a prop firm that may not be as well known as some of the bigger names. Um, but I'm really impressed with some of their offerings and I want to kind of go over it with you guys. Um, the reason I made this video is I get a lot of comments from uh, people, you know, wondering about, you know, do prop firms really pay out? And I know a lot of prop firms have a lot of different rules about how long you have to wait to get paid or if you have to do one eval or two, um, sometimes they have 20 day, 20 trading day periods or even 30, 40 day trading periods um, before you can get your payout. So uh, Lilo Trading, I think I'm saying it right. Um, I looked at their marketing, a lot of it, and the way they brand themselves, it, it's more like they kind of gamify prop trading. So they all have like uh, daily uh, trading contests where I think you pay like nine bucks and I guess whoever gets the highest account balance in the day wins uh, some prize. But I looked at, um, you know, their like uh, evaluations and it's very similar to what you'll find from like an elite trader funding or Apex or um, even like take profit trader. So I'm going to go over what they call their foundation accounts. Um, and these, I guess, they're the original accounts you started with. So they have an express account, which is similar to the one you could probably get with Elite Trader funding. And it's $6,000 profit target, $3,000 uh, trailing drawdown, and it's $77. And I believe if you pass it, you get back the $77. Um, and they do offer the one-time data fee, uh, whereas you're not stuck paying it monthly every month. You can just um, either pay the one-time fee or you can do the monthly option which is i think that's cool for some uh traders um they have a 25k account 50k account 100k account and it goes up to 300k um with the static account as well now with the foundation accounts um these are accounts that typically you do have to trade for 30 trading days which is a month and a half before you can get a payout. Um, but they recently brought out something uh, that's called a weekly account. And these, right now it's only two different options, 25K and a 50K option. Um, but when I read the uh, terms of it, it sounds pretty you know, reasonable. Um, I think you have to trade for 10 trading days, um, obviously to pass it, right? And once you pass it, I think you have to trade for another 10 trading days to be qualified for a withdrawal and from there i think it's every four trading days you can request a weekly payout now this is it kind of reminds me of um take profit um you know take profit they promote like day one withdrawal if you hit your drawdown now with them you still have to hit the drawdown right so if you have the uh 25k account you're gonna have to get fifteen hundred dollars of equity in the account um and then you can make withdrawals or maybe 1500 plus a hundred dollars then you can make withdrawals going forward and then you know it would be the same uh on the 50k account i think this is cool to have options as a trader um they are one of the few prop firms i've seen that allows you to carry uh trades overnight or like between um like when the market closes to when it opens and that's cool i mean it's not a lot you can i think you can carry three micros um overnight or even over the weekend but i want to kind of go over um a little more of the terms of the investor weekly accounts i think it's a great option and i think traders should have options with prop firms and i hopefully i hopefully see other prop firms uh do this because one of the biggest issues i've you know i've heard from traders is this fear or concern that you know what if this prop firm doesn't pay me or i've heard people even say that prop firms make their payout rules to make you fail right like once you get into a pro account or a performance account or you know just uh you pass the evaluation um a lot of people feel as if the prop firms make their rules in a way where they encourage you to over trade um i like to push back against that because i i think you have to remember both parties don't know each other right they don't know you you don't know them so the same way you're looking out to not be scammed by a prop firm <laughs> they're looking out to not get scammed by traders right so like if you're in the market and you're just you know gambling or making uh just big bets 
they don't want to fund somebody like that. I think by making these periods to one pass your evaluation or to get a payout, it makes sense from a business perspective. If they're looking for traders to fund or traders to, um, you know, that they want to copy their trades or, or even get part of their profits, they want good traders. They don't want people that are getting lucky. Um, so it makes sense from that perspective that they would give you some hoops to jump through to make sure that, you know, you know what you're doing and you do have an edge. Uh, so let's go through the um, how they market the weekly accounts. So you have to trade 10, you have 10 traded days for your first request, um, then have four traded days between each request. Um, and you can choose from two different types of accounts. So it says three or eight contract accounts. So this is the 25K account, uh, 50K account. They do use Ninja Trader right now. They do not have Tradeovate yet to my knowledge um their only way you can fail in evaluation with lilo is to um is to exceed your drawdown um which is pretty good uh that's that's pretty cool like there's no if you try to trade above the contract position it simply won't let you um there's no I'm not sure if there's a penalty for like holding between you know 4 and 5 p.m in your evaluation account you can actually just hold any position size uh after the close um, but in your pro account, you, you have to actually, I think, like, it's like three. And then if you want to hold larger than that, you have to ask permission, um, which is fair. Um, you're here. If you enter too many contracts, the contract is simply rejected. Um, but here they also break down the payout uh, schedule and, like, how much you can withdraw the minimum, maximum amount. So on a 25K account, your minimum withdrawal is $1,000 after your account has a balance of $26,000. Six hundred dollars, and your maximum. It's also one thousand dollars for the first and the second one, and onward. I guess after the second one, it's um, there is no limit um, as long as you have a twenty-six thousand six hundred dollar balance. Um, for the fifty k account, it's minimum of one thousand, maximum fifteen hundred for the first two, and then onward. It's there's no limit. Um, so if you're looking for a prop firm and you're comfortable trading on Ninja Trader, I think it's, you know, it's worth giving Lilo a shot. Um, again, see here, they say they have um, either you pay a one-time PA fee of $250 uh, for any account size or you pay $88. And that's kind of cool too that it's a one fee for all account size. I do wish they had a larger account size on these weekly accounts. Um, you know, not everybody likes trading small accounts and, um, but you know, it's still, I still think it's uh, innovation. It's innovative that they're doing it this way. Cause I think one of my first concerns when I read about Lilu is, you know, waiting 30 days for a payout, 30 trading days, that's about six weeks to wait for a payout. Um, but I do feel like the more prop firms that pop up and create these types of, um, evaluations or account types i think you'll see you start seeing other prop firms copy or make their own versions of it so i do think uh this is this is a win i think this is a win for prop for prop traders uh, uh everywhere and it's worth a consideration i've never tried one of their daily competitions uh to me i don't view trading as a game i mean it is a game but i don't really view it as one um but I guess it's also a way to test strategies out for relatively cheap, right? So you pay nine dollars uh, to get an account, and you have one day to, you know, to win five hundred dollars. Um, but it, again, it's you know each their own. Uh, you might like something like this. For me, I, I'm more of like a, I'll do an evaluation and trading to like a performance account or something. But um, give them a look, give them a look. You know, see if anything on there. Uh, sticks out for you. They do have a lot of sales and promotions. I follow their Instagram account um, and they announce a lot of their promotions on there and they're very responsive too. If you email them, uh, you'll get a response within an hour most of the time and um, you know they seem fairly uh, straightforward. But thanks for watching guys. Um, if you want to keep up with the channel um, outside of YouTube, uh, you can follow on Instagram. So let's pull up the Instagram. Instagram.com slash honest prop trader. So here's the IG uh, you can follow to get, you know, like updates on here. 
and then there's also a Twitter, um, twitter.com slash honest P -A -T -R -D -R. So again, you can DM me on either um, on Twitter or on the Instagram. And uh, thanks for watching.